Government of Nigeria says it may soon begin the implementation of excise tax penalties for foreign exchange transactions conducted outside the official market window as a measure to reduce the existence of multiple exchange rates in the country. This is just one of the 20 recommendations presented by the Presidential Fiscal Policy and Tax Reform Committee, which was established by President Tinubu in July. New Central's Perpetual Fasumi Peter looked into this proposal and has more in this report. One of the suggestions of the Fiscal Policy and Tax Reform Committee in its Quick Wins report is the introduction of an excise tax on foreign exchange transactions that occur outside the official market. The recommendation, which is aimed at tackling exchange rate volatility, is coming at a time the federal government's plan to harmonize the exchange rates and collapse all foreign exchange windows into one official market has failed to yield the expected result. Players in the foreign exchange market are not sold on the idea. It's about sentiment. It's about the fact that um, there's lack of liquidity or there's not enough liquidity in the official window. And as a result of that, that is what's actually causing panic. And people are trying to actually protect um, themselves against maybe future obligations that will mature. And that's one of the reasons why we keep seeing that uh, people actually migrate into the uh, parallel market. So if you try to say, oh, oh, the government needs to actually now tax that window. And now let's look at other um, manufacturing companies that need to actually assess that window. Uh, what it would mean to them is incremental cost in terms of uh, input to production. And at the end of the day, um, is what you buy that you will sell. So what that simply means is that the actual cost will actually go up. And at the end of the day, they, they will end up passing the cost back to the final consumer. And that what would that would mean is that uh, we'll start another circle of inflationary pressure. It is a counterproductive pressure. Number one, if how do you try the transaction to do this in the pilot market? So we take it will also trigger another spike, inflationary spike. The volatility in Nigeria's foreign exchange market has seen the Naira lose over 40% of its value on the street. This is quite concerning and some industry players believe currency speculation by some persons described as elite business people is also fueling the instability in the market. If the market is liquid enough, I don't think there will be room for some of those people to be able to play and take advantage of the market. Um, if you look at Nigeria as a country, uh, and when you're not generating FX revenue, how do you meet your FX obligation? So it is not basically about those people, but are they in the market? Yes. But they cannot actually be the sole reason why we are where we are now. The foreign exchange market's instability understandably concerns everyone, prompting heightened attention and calls for action on the issue. For many Nigerians, they eagerly anticipate a time when there will be stability in the foreign exchange market and prices of goods and services will once again be within their reach. Perpetual Fasami Peter reporting for News Central.